Okay, let's go ahead and get this thing installed. So first we're gonna remove our old toilet. Slide that off. Okay, let's remove the screws. Okay, so next we are going to attach the Bivet device itself. First thing, there's gonna be a sticker here that's gonna be on here. You may wanna remove it before installing it. They made it super sticky and it left this sticky, so use a little goo gone. Um, and then there's gonna be another sticker um, over here that uh, had the product code that you may want to remove also. But we will simply just place this like so, so it is aligned over the holes, and then you're gonna have the rubber pieces, you're gonna have to rotate these, so that way they fall over the opening here. And then you are going to reinstall your, um, your toilet. There we go, once your toilet is back installed uh, and the device is off to the side, now it is time to install it to the water line. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see here, but I'm gonna do my best so you can kind of capture and see what uh, all the parts and pieces. On the back of the device here is a hot and cold line. If you're going to install the hot water line, you are going to use this plastic coil and it's gonna go all the way over to the hot line on your sink. And then you are going to use this splitter right here. So this will attach to uh, essentially your existing line. You'll just slide this in place. And then this part right here will connect to there and you'll tighten it all up. And then this side is going to connect to um, the back of the bibet itself. And if you don't want to hook it up to the water hot water line, so I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, I wanna test it out first, but the hot water line, they also include a cap, so you can cap that off if you wish to only hook it up to the cold water line. The reason I'm not uh, gonna hook it up to the hot line is uh, we want to see if we like this device first uh, before drilling a hole in our kitchen or in our bathroom cabinets because um, I don't want to drill a hole and end up not liking it. So um, they also include some Teflon tape and they include two plastic wrenches if you need these uh, to tighten up the joints. But step one here is going to be hooking up the cold water line. So you're going to need the included metal splitter here. You're gonna to wanna to take off the plastic caps. And on the big side here, you wanna make sure this black uh, rubber piece right here um, is inside. If it's not inside the box, you need to put it inside this little device right here. And then you're also gonna need the metal uh, cable here. So first step is to turn off your water. Just twist it like so. And then you're gonna disconnect it from the toilet here. Okay, so now go ahead and disconnect the water line um, from the base of your toilet so you can install the splitter. And once that's done, you can also, if you choose not to hook up the hot water line, you can go ahead and install that cap on the hot water line of the bet itself. Okay, then after that you are ready to go ahead and connect the line to the bibet. This is going to be the cold water line. Go ahead and use little plastic um, attachments to screw it on nice and tight. And then you are going to attach the other end to the splitter that is over by your toilet. Hey guys, so we are all set up. So uh, sorry for the tight view here, but you know, only have so much room. So as you can see, there is the main water line right there. It connects us to the T, uh, which connects at the bottom of the toilet and threaded. Uh, and then this little guy connects here. They include this little plastic adapter, which works on both ends. 
to help tighten the nuts, which is really, really nice. Um, and then this cord goes all the way to the back of the bibette, hooked up to the cold side here. And then this cap is on the hot side. Now, like I said, if you wanna hook up the hot, same situation, you tee off the hot line underneath your sink and you run the cable to here. I'm gonna hold off on that um, until we see if we like it before I drill a hole in my cabinets. Um, now, I do wanna point out for some reason the wrenches that they included, uh, the small sides fit perfect for these, um, but it didn't fit for at least my toilet, the bigger nut, including the, the one on um, the device they provided. But So you may need another wrench to get it all tightened up, but uh, that should be pretty fine. So the last thing we do here is we are gonna turn on the water and hope we don't get any leaks. Now I did wanna mention, I forgot to mention earlier, before you get started all this, once you turn off the water, make sure you flush your toilet. You wanna make sure the bowl is empty, um, otherwise you're gonna get a lot of water flowing through. So no matter what, you're gonna get a little water that's in the bowl, but yeah, make sure you uh, flush that toilet before you open up the bottom so you don't flood your bathroom. But uh, that is it. So that is the install, pretty easy. Overall install, I would say, maybe took 10 minutes. Um, plan for longer, obviously, if you're hooking up the hot water line here. But uh, let's go ahead and give it a try and see how it works.